All right, boys, today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4. What country are we picking? Let's pick the British Empire. I heard they have good ice cream. Hell no, we are not playing the British Empire. Okay, fine. Whatever Trump, let's play German Empire. Your boy is going to pick easy mode since you know him all easy. I could have guessed that by looking at you, Joe. At least I won the election. Trump, he's got a point. Ecuador declared war on Ecuador. How is that even possible? Probably because they're in a civil war, Trump. All right, boys, we're going to upgrade infantry equipment. That's a good idea, Obama. Next, we're going to upgrade our anti-tank equipment. Joe, you are an idiot. They didn't have much tanks in 1914. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for once, I agree with Trump. All right, sober up, boys. It's time to take stuff seriously. we got to get some civilian factories and military factories. Did you just tell me, me, to sober up? Sleepy Joe, I'll have you know that you yourself should seriously consider treatment for your dumb brain. The rate we're at, I don't know if we could even command an army. That guy has a great mustache. More than you could ever grow senile, Joe. All right, boys, calm down. Let's pick a national focus. Let's contain the Kaiser. Get rid of him. What did you say about me? Holy crap, he can talk. This is so scary. Did you just summon a ghost, Sleepy Joe? That was weird as hell. Let's pick military mission in Turkey. Yeah, good if we don't upset that ghost. Now, from experience, it's good if we raise an army like I did when I was president. But, oh, well, someone rigged the votes. I don't know if it's rigged Trump, but good luck in 2024. Guys, stop arguing. We have to work as a team if we want to win a great war. You know, when I was a young boy, I remember when this war happened. My pet donkey named Pablo Escobar was sent to Europe to fight off the Germans in World War I. Good times. Did you forget to take your pills today, Sleepy Joe? Are you out of your freaking mind? You have gone crazy? Yeah, I agree. Also, it's not good times, Joe. People died back then. It was a tragedy. All right, all right. Let's start assigning some generals for our soldiers so they can fight properly. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, no, European crisis is four days left. Are we going to war? It would be best if we did not panic, but yes, we are, and I'm damn scared. Obama, remember what you did in Yemen. Fake news. Oh, crap. Serbia denied Austria's demands. Of course, my child, we are going to defeat our enemies in this war. Austria and Germany will prevail. They will build a thousand statues of us when we win, and then we will host a massive dinner party with the heads of our enemies' kings on our dinner plates. Okay, nah, this is freaking crazy. Who is inviting these people into our Discord call? I bet it's Sleepy Joe. Also, how are you still alive? I mean, Joe is old as hell, but still, this is some crazy crap. Okay, guys, even though that was the craziest thing I've heard in my life, we've got to focus on the main issue here. We are on a two-front war with the most powerful countries in the world. It would be good if we started planning our war goals. We will reach Paris in a week. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Did we just get possessed by this guy? I mean, yeah, I agree, but I did not say that. Holy what the fuck just happened? Remember why we fight? Our soldiers are the strongest in the world. We are the beacon of hope. In this world of depression, we will continue Napoleon Bonaparte's journey and conquer Europe and bring liberty to all of the people in the world. Are you okay in the head, Joe? We don't need a lecture. Our soldiers are beginning to fight. We might actually win this war. We just need to stay focused, guys. Holy crap, why are all these countries denying our damn assets? Come on. It won't matter because we will take over them, Joe. Facts. Facts. Okay, guys, I am starting to send commands to these ships so that they can fight off the British Navy. That should be a good enough distraction to stop them from sending any more troops to Europe. Yeah, I agree for once. Okay, let's make a deal, Joe. If we lose this war, then I won't run again for president, all right? But the thing is, if we win this war, then you won't be able to run for 2024 or any other elections, not like you would be young enough to run then. Deal, but let's focus on our territories. Let's make sure none try to rebel like yours did at Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Holy shit, we're losing so badly they almost reached Budapest in Hungary. Just like the 2020 election. Can we not bring up modern day politics? We are playing a game based in 1914. Anyways, I don't know if we can win this war. I bet our soldiers are deserting to the countryside because of how much the Russians are beating us. We should still remain hopeful, though. Never say that about the fatherland. This is the best country in the world. Our imperial nation will bring quote-unquote freedom to the rest of the world, just how Napoleon tried to. We will actually successfully invade Russia. We're blocking you after this, by the way. We don't know how you even got here. This is a private group chat. I know it was you, Joe. Well, someone named Jill Biden asked me to join this group chat and annoy the living hell out of these people. No way. Trump was right for once. That's insane. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Okay, boys, we are making a good counteroffensive into the Benelux region. Since it is so hard to send troops through the Maginot Line in France. 
Although our counteroffensive is doing well, France is taking land from us. It is hard to tell what to do here. Oh, man, it's a real struggle fighting the Russians. They just do not stop fighting. Winter is soon, and you know Russia fights well in the cold. And Trump, I'm afraid that you might not be able to run in 2024 if we lose. I, I am genuinely so mad. Our troops are not deploying, and we are losing so much land in Poland. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, oh, my God, Obama, it's just a game. Recruit the little kids. Um, excuse me. Well, what on earth did you just say? Recruit the little kids. You know, guys, he might have a point, as mad as I am, at you for trolling us. If we recruited kids in the army, then that means we get an advantage of more soldiers. Are you out of your damn mind, Obama? It is not right to send anyone to fight. Sending kids to fight is a new low. Jesus Christ, guys. But yeah, I have to agree with Trump. That is pretty messed up, Obama. I'm not sure we can be friends after this. Chill out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Guys, guys, I don't like the look of this, guys. Are you looking? We have a single division of soldiers surrounded by a ton of soldiers in Belgium. We need to help them. Please, save their poor souls. What did you expect? It's World War I. We only care about winning, not the morality of the battles in our war. No one, no one asked, asked you. you. Let's unlock chemical warfare as a tactic since it's the most morally okay thing to do. Sometimes you have to do bad things, even if it's just to gain a bit of land. Guys, there are kids watching. We are supposed to be a good influence on them. Over 100,000 of our soldiers have died. This is outrageous! Guys, I'm preparing a counterattack to encircle the city of Reims and weaken their defenses. That's all well and good, Joe. But have you considered the fact that we have a whole other front against Russia, which we are losing so badly on? We can't keep up with supplies, and we're running out of soldiers. Remember the deal I made with Trump? If we lose, I get to run for 2024. That means the great Democratic Party will rule America. Just like all parties, the next morning you get a hangover because you're drunk. Also, are you just ruining our army so you can get the White House? Pathetic. We are losing so badly in Africa. Almost all of our colonies have been taken by the British or French. I don't know if there's much we can do. Austria is a weak ally who has a backwards army. And also the Ottoman Empire doesn't want to join us. Literally everyone in the world is against us or has a bad opinion on us. Are you talking about the American politics in 2023? Oh my God, guys, look at Austria. They have almost taken half of it. They're pretty much dead at this point. Our army is more backwards than Joe Biden's wife, Jill Biden. And oh my God, how have they taken Southern Germany? Keep my wife's name out your mouth. Also, I think we are screwed, guys. You mean keep my wife out Trump's house? Damn, bro, that was kind of a good one, Trump. Joe, I'm sorry, but he violated you. Facts. Facts. If you say facts once more, I'll go to the hospital and pay the crazy medical price of $500,000, which totally doesn't go to my ice cream addiction. I'll ask the doctors to remove my brain. Joe, 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 you can't be this stupid. You can't ask them to remove something which you don't have. Facts. Facts. Damn, Joe, he played you again. Personally, I wouldn't tolerate that level of disrespect. Holy crap, guys, they seized our ships. Our beloved ships. No! <sighs> Joe, my guy, what the hell was that sound you just made? Not going to lie, it was kind of sus, bro. Let's go, boys. We gained the support of Bulgaria so much they decided to join us in this fight. 300,000 of our imperial men have died. How dare they step foot and march on our imperial soil? Sorry, boys, but I'm surrendering to the Allies. War is over. I'm going to go hang out with Jill, buy ice cream, and steal some tax dollars while I'm at it. Seriously? Did that just happen? He wasted our time, Obama. I bet we would have won if Sleepy Joe wasn't playing with us. Yeah, what the, the hell? He just backstabbed us so he's, he can hang out with his wife and eat some ice cream? What a fake friend. Outrageous.